Hello, I'm John Canoe, part of the uh, Partner Enablement Team. I'll be your subject matter expert for today for this uh, topic. So, without further ado, uh, let's get started. Today's topic will be centered around the IOTR, uh, configured as a uh, WAN connected device to iTron's back office components, the Starfish data platform. I'll be covering the tools that have been installed on this device that will help you in your development efforts. After connecting our uh, IOTR to Ethernet and powering the device up, we're going to need to establish a uh, secure shell session to our device. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use a uh, PuTTY as my uh, SSH uh, client. And here's the first case where we're, we're already in trouble. We need to figure out what address, IP address, has been assigned to our IOTR. In this case, the IOTR tools that have been installed on this device can give us a hand. Uh, if we go to our PC, we insert a uh, USB drive, place a file on that drive, uh, new text file, uh, Name it IP address dot text. And then if we uh, eject this and place this in the IOTR, we will and leave it leave it there for uh, at least a minute. It'll be recognized and uh, at that point the IOTR will update that file and, and uh, it'll be able to tell us its uh, IP address. At this point I'll be able to uh, check the uh, IP address uh, .txt file and sure enough uh, we know now what the uh, IP address is and we'll be able to establish our putty, putty session. Once we have the IP address of our IOTR established, uh, we can open our uh, secure uh, shell session, log in as uh, dev uh, starfish, and at this point we can uh, bring up uh, IOTR tools. IOTR-Tools and it's a basic a, a command line uh, structure navigatable with the uh, arrow keys up down through the menus uh, to execute uh, any one of the items you just hit enter there will be uh, one of the areas that you'll use uh, is to discover your display your uh, the Melly node queue. Um, at that point, you can see the uh, RSSI, the signal signal strength, how long the uh, device has been on the network, its uh, MAC address, which will relate to its IPv6 address. And then there's also the, uh, you can also list out the uh, node 0 queue, and that's uh, like peer peer devices, other uh, IOTRs that, that might be on the network can be, be seen. Um, then the, the basic menu structure is the RF menu, uh, anything to do with communications with the Melly device. And the uh, config menu would be in regards to sysfar settings and uh, settings on the Melly. So we'll start out with the uh, the RF menu, and you can basically get the uh, RF power settings that your uh, IOTR is is uh, set up for. Um, antenna configuration. One of the uh, communications you can do with the uh, Melly device in a non-secure um, mode without any certificate key exchange uh, is list the uh, certificates on the device. 
and uh, well, at this point, then you would you would have to type in your um, IPv6 address of your device. And mine happens to be the same as the. Uh, Example here. And this will go out and do do an exchange uh, show that the uh, Milli device has its certificate. In other words, it's been registered with the head end. You can also establish a uh, secure communications, which would get a derived key from your device. Um, And once you establish this uh, derived key, then you can do co-op requests and other uh, communications with your Milli device. Test out your uh, RF link between the IOTR and the and the Milli. So now, once we have that, we'll go down and do a uh, get well-known core a co-op, actually a co-op request to your device. And that pretty much covers it for the uh, the RF menu. Uh, then we'll go back to the uh, config menu, and at this point you can see that you can uh, read sysvars and sys set sysvar settings on your device. You can uh, get and set its trap host if it, it's established that. Uh, there'll be some some help that you can get displayed. This will basically show you um, some of the uh, SysFAR settings for aggressive mode, persistent observe, low power, uh, particular SysFAR 27. Um, and, but your definitive uh, guide for SysFAR settings will be the uh, dev portal and the profiles that are established there. But this will give you some indication and idea what uh, differences uh, between aggressive and persistent observe which ones are uh, pertinent to that you can also uh, list out uh, uh, all of the uh, the sysvars by name hope you enjoyed this video if you have questions please post those to the dev portal uh, developer forum as others can benefit from the answers provided. Thank you.